types of authoring tools. These are entirely arbitrary. These are just the groups that that we've chosen how, how we would tend to, to balance them up. We would tend to start out with our standalone tools, and these are tools that don't require any other third party or any other extra software to be installed on in your machine uh, to be able to use them. The example that we're going to use of this uh, is Storyline, which is quite a new um, entrant into the into the marketplace. It is the newest version of Articulate Studio, just because anyone's used it previously, uh, which is one of the most popular ones. Our PowerPoint plugins uh, it make up our second group, and the example of this uh, that we're going to use is Snap by Lectora. PowerPoint plugins, as by definition you would expect, uh, require an active version of PowerPoint to run. They basically extend the functionality of PowerPoint. Good news for that is if you know how to use PowerPoint and you're well versed in how to set up nice looking presentations in PowerPoint, you're halfway to be able to actually create e-learning content. They, they give you the ability to add to that assessment size add uh, interactions, add other interactions like that. Third up, or what we very broadly wrap around into the, the group of online tools. <laughs> online tools uh, obviously require you to be online. You don't actually have any software installed in your system. Everything is through your web browser. The Composica, uh, sorry, the example I'm going to use for that is Composica. I should, before I continue on, I should say we're also using three examples because I'll be chatting for, for about half an hour at the most. Um, there are dozens of different tools. Uh, some there are some excellent, some other excellent ones out there, as, as well as ones that we'll be chatting about.